Hey everyone, it's the World Terrorist Cheerleader here again, saying thank you as always for joining me. Uh, sorry about yesterday, I know I apologize too much. I didn't record, life kind of happened. I will make it up, I'll try to get something out on Sunday. But I did want to thank you all for joining me again today. Um, update real quick on my fundraising campaign. Uh, I don't like, I don't want to talk about this too much because I don't want you all to get sick of hearing it. I made the first goal quite easily. Thank you to everybody who helped out with that. The second goal I set, we're just about to reach. So I went and set a third goal. I was in contact with the Samaritan Inn uh, McKinney here in North Dallas, and they said they would love to receive some stockings for the grown-ups, for the adults. They told me that at the moment they currently housed 50 men and 50 women, which is pretty convenient for me because I'm trying to do them in batches of 50. But what that means is instead of just doing, you know, a hundred, you know, like I originally or uh, proposed to do, we're not, I'm now shooting for 150. So that means about $1,800. And right now, we're just just over half of that. So again, thank you to everybody for that. But I also wanted to kind of address some comments I had received and everybody telling me what a, you know, they're happy that I'm doing this. They think it's a good thing. And I mean, I know I've talked about giving in the past and, and doing little random acts of kindness. And I still... I still try to do those every day, or as often as I can, and my point is, I guess, it just, it surprises me, you know, the, the reception I'm getting, not that, you know, I'm looking for the attention or anything like that, it's just, uh, I'm not used to thinking about what I'm doing is, is any big deal, um, but it kind of led me to to think about, you know, doing what I can with what I have. I mean, I have the ability to do things like this, so for me, it's it's like a responsibility. I have to do things like this because I have that, I don't want to say ability again, but you know, because I have those resources, uh, I'm trying to put them to use. And, and you know, I, I keep saying this, but that hasn't always been the case. You know, it's been a lot of growing up for me. You know, in the last few years, in the last decade, uh, you know, lots changed for me. I've kind of had to reprioritize and rethink what I was doing with what I was given. Um, for me, it's always, well, not always, but recently it's about what I can give back uh, because I wasn't always like that. Before, it may have been like, what can I get out of it or what can I do that will benefit me? I tried not to let it go to an unhealthy degree, but I know there were some definite moments of selfishness when I was a kid, and younger, I should say. And once, once I got out on my own and, and started being responsible, or having to take on more responsibility for life, it, it kind of hit me that, you know, there's more I can and more I should be doing. I keep coming back to it, but people have been so incredibly kind and generous to me in the past, helping me when I was at my lowest point, you know, propping me up without a thought for themselves or without ever asking for anything in return. And that's all I'm trying to do is to be, be the person for others that they were for me. And I haven't always been able to do that. And that's that was 
a great source of frustration because I would see somebody that I normally would have been able to help, but I couldn't. And that would contribute towards the depression and the frustration. But I also learned that there's more I can do with what I have, not necessarily what I don't have. It's not always about being able to help people out with great sums of money or you know, material things. It, it can be a lot of, well, like I'm doing right now, talking, listening, being there. You know, just being. Because, you know, there were so many times when all I needed was somebody just to listen. Or somebody just to sit with me. And it wasn't necessarily about solving my problems or fixing them. It was just about being there as a physical or emotional presence. So I started doing a lot more of that, or trying to do a lot more of that. And I, there's definitely been a benefit to me as well. Because I feel better about myself. And I'm making myself available to those who need it. Not because I have to, but because I want to. I have that ability, so I'm going to use it. And that's all I'm asking of anybody is, you know, a lot of the times people don't want solutions. They just want you. They want you to just be with them. If you can do that, that could make, that could make mean the world and make a huge difference to someone. So just reach out. Let people know you're available. Let them know you care and let them know there's no judgment and no expectation. I'm just there for them. And I'm here for you. If you ever need anything, just an ear, a body to sit with, anything at all, just hit me up, contact me, reach out. I'll be here. I love you guys. Thank you for helping me work through some of these issues myself. If you have any questions, comments, anything you want me to talk about, please leave a comment below. And if there's anything I can do for you, please ask. Love you all. Bye.